covering politics does not get any better than days like this. Joining us now is John Stanton, Washington Bureau Chief for BuzzFeed. Mr. Stanton, thank you for being here. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Are, do you get excited with the up all night publicity stunts, <laughs> or are you like, uh, the cots again? Yeah, I, so it's hard to get up, like, super excited about a bunch of old guys that are saying they're going to stay up for three days. <laughs> I, you know, rich old white guys generally don't stay up three days. Not, right. I mean, Listen, not without a lot, help. A lot of blue pills. Right. So I think, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little suspect on whether they'll actually go to Saturday. Um, but, you know, the, the thing I think is interesting about this is there are a lot of other ways that they could go about blocking things in the Senate, which would have much more of an impact. They, the, yesterday they, they did this thing, it's a two-hour rule, which is a very sort of arcane part of Senate rules, which essentially stopped a confirmation hearing of one of President Obama's nominees. But stalled it. It stalled it. Right. But nobody really cared. And, you know, rolling out the cots and staying up all night, they found with, with Rand Paul and with Ted Cruz that that does get a lot of publicity. Um, it gins up their base. People can fundraise on it. And so I think it is very much more of a publicity stunt in, than anything else. Here's my issue, though. And I'm, I mean, I find Ms. Mitch McConnell to be the most amazing and mystifying political animal of all. Um, and it is that when Rand Paul did the drones thing, what that was getting attention to was drones policy, mm -hmm. which was awkward for him because he didn't understand very well what he was talking about. So that ended up, be, I think, actually think being a bad thing for him. But it got a lot of attention to him personally. When Ted Cruz did the green eggs and ham filibuster, got a lot of attention to Republican opposition to Obamacare, the impending shutdown, and, of course, primarily, Ted Cruz himself. <laughs> this is a stay up all night, three day long, four day long event that's mounted by the Republican Party as a whole over the issue of the procedural nature of a Senate rules change that happened three weeks ago. I mean, where does, how, how could you possibly politically capitalize on that? Well, right, and I, I think, you know, to a certain degree it does, they found that their base is definitely up, up in arms about the changes to the rules, and also judicial activism is still a big thing for conservatives, and it is something that, like, gets, gets them worked up. But they're and, not, but they're not making a case against any of these individual nominees. No, but what they're doing is essentially saying to the conservative base, we're with you. And for people like Mitch McConnell and John Cornyn and others who are facing primary challenges and are being beat up by these outside groups, it is very important for them to try to show these conservative bona fides. The irony, of course, though, is that no, no matter what they do, they still get attacked as being rhinos. And right. they can't, there's nothing really they can do to not be attacked by the Senate Conservative Fund or Heritage Action or any number of these groups. And so they are sort of playing this almost grasping at straws in some cases, trying to show that they are true, true blue conservatives. And at a certain point, they have to make a decision about who they're going to side with because they can't sort of keep playing the line between them. I, I want to play you a little piece of tape. This was um, Paul Ryan making the case on conservative talk radio last night. And part of the Republican leadership's case for why everybody should vote for this Paul Ryan budget is that it'll prevent there from being another government shutdown in January. So he's making that case on conservative talk radio, and this was the response he got. Listen. This agreement prevents a government shutdown in January and prevents a government shutdown in No, well, you guys are all worked up about that. Lots of us don't really care about well. that. <laughs> Mark Levin telling Paul Ryan, you want to avoid a government shutdown. We don't care about that. Right. Where do you go from there? Well, the, the irony here is that the House has been, for the last three years, sort of a place where conservatives have, have held down, and they have made it very difficult to move anything. Mm -hmm. And Mitch McConnell has been sort of the adult within the Republican Party that comes out in terms of work with or with Harry Reid, and, and the Senate Republicans have been the ones putting pressure on conservatives to agree to things. And suddenly, today, it's the opposite. House Republicans are sort of embracing uh, uh, Paul Ryan, embracing this deal. They think it's a good idea. John Boehner is getting to go out there and bang back finally against Heritage Action. Right, call groups. them ridiculous and all that stuff. Right, and, and at the same time, suddenly Mitch McConnell and John Cornyn are saying, Paul Ryan's crazy, this is a bad idea, we don't want to do this. And it's a fascinating flip of, of, uh, of roles. When the House votes, I mean, we'll have to see what happens in the Senate and how long they are actually able to stay right. up. They're saying Saturday night that would be hilarious <laughs> just for the, situ the, the state they'd be in by then. But in the House, when they go to vote on this Paul Ryan thing tomorrow, what's your impression? Do you think it's going to pass? I do think it's going to pass. I think, you know, there are enough House Republicans that, have, that are supporting it. And a lot of these guys have been looking for a way to put some distance between themselves and Heritage Action and some of these other groups to say, I'm not totally beholden to these organizations. And I think that, you know, Ryan 
is a, a unique figure, really, within the Republican Party. He, people believe in him. They think he's a conservative. You know, the, the, the Mitt Romney rhino stink did not carry over onto him. He came back, and they all still think he's very conservative. And, and he has a lot of cachet with his members. I so. love that you had a Republican staffer in your piece at BuzzFeed today tell you that Paul Ryan is our <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I thought, you know what? The Democrats said that, it'd be the end of the world. But in the Republican <laughs> Party, that's okay. That's just, you know, Wednesday. John Stanton, Washington Bureau Chief for BuzzFeed. It's great to have you here in person, John. Good, Good to see you, man. All right. Um,